Hello, Graham Roberts here. Welcome to the eighth in the series of tutorials developing a computer game using Visual C Sharp.net. As you can see, I'm about to click OK so that this game runs. I just want you to spot what happens to the catcher score in the top left hand corner as this game progresses. Let me just close that down. The score is going up because the apples are being caught. Now if I move out of the way you should see the score going down because I'm missing them. Okay, I want to catch one so I run along and catch it. I miss one and the score goes down. Now eventually that score will go down to a negative value but in the concept of the game and the design that's okay. By dragging down the height you can see what's really going on. And if I draw across by pressing the right arrow key I will catch and it will go back up again and eventually I have zero points. Scoring in a game is usually very very important to the player. How did we do that? Well instead of putting um, a text box or a label onto the form and showing the score in there I put it directly into what I call the legend of the form the title of the form if you like the text or um, attribute of the form. Now to do that in this language you have to check for uh, possible errors. Y is an object oriented point uh, I don't want to go into that here. But If we can look at the um, the code I've put in to achieve this I've written try brace form dot active form dot text equals catcher score equals and then I've concatenated, added on as a string, the score. Now actually the score should have two texts but it's been intrinsically uh, converted for us to a string by this operator, the concatenation operator. We have to have a try catch because we have to check a possible exception or error that's in the text uh, assignment. We can only um, put text into the text property and to make sure that happens and there's no null values we use catch exception um, I'd normally use E, I'm using EX here because E was used as um, the event argument uh, variable in the header. Anyway that's not really um, well it is important, it's vital, but it isn't uh, important that you understand why this is done. It's very simple really. In fact I've also done it on uh, the score plus, that is I've done it on the negative scoring, the decrementing and the incrementing. It's exactly the same code here. Because we've used exactly the same code we should really create our own uh, method to do that and that's what I'm going to do next. I've created a method called void display score and I'm just going to copy into it the text or code I had. I only have to do it once remember because I can call it as often as I like. So now I've changed down here display score to replace that code. So I'm going to call that method and of course I'm going to do it in the other place in the other collision um, when there is a collision detection so if we run this we should get the same um, result don't worry about this down here the variable ex is declared never used it's a warning and it's simply because I don't actually print it out I should be able to see this is doing exactly the same thing as before and um, if I go left and avoid catch we can see it's 
working fine. And there we go. So there we've created a helper method. All of that in less than, well, about five minutes. Now the other thing that the user will be, or player will be interested in, is randomness. At the moment, when the game is played, the apple drops from one place to the ground and then kind of drops again in the same, well, technically, vector. It turns out to be relatively straightforward because, fortunately, C Sharp has built in random number generators. What we need to do is make a declaration as an instance, uh, not an instance, sorry, a class variable, that is a static variable, something that is existent for the entire duration of the program. Of type random, I've called it underscore r to signify it's some sort of system variable we're using there, and it is assigned a value of a random number when it's called. That's this line here. Now to use it, when we come down to the timer, when an apple misses the basket, it goes back to the top, which is value 0. And that's fine. What we want to do, though, is to set a new left property value. And we can do that with this statement here. papple.left is equal to underscore r dot next, which is just calling that method that we set up, a static method. And we're calling it with two parameters. The first one is the minimum value. Um, that is the width of the apple. So not zero, but the width of the apple, so that the um, apple is a little bit off from the left and between that value and the width of the form. this kind of error occurs in this language because of its, what can I say, obsession with error protection. Just in case there's an exception and the value won't fit into the left property, um, it requires that we place this within a, a try-catch system. I did show you that the player can change at runtime the value of the width. So it's not really being that silly, is it, the programming language? It's being perhaps a little overprotective. Now, fortunately, you can fix this, as you can see here, with um, no problem and no crashes. And all I did was to wrap around try catch exception subpart to the program. Let's have a look at that. Here we have it. Try. Then we've got the statement and catch exception ex. I don't do anything with it because it will never ever be caught because there's nothing to catch really. But at least I'm showing willing and uh, shutting up the system from its um, warnings and stopping the program running with an exception error. Again, we've got these warnings down here, which you're not to worry about, really. If you'd like to know how you can get rid of them, I will show you just now. 
Inside the braces here, I've just written a declaration of a string, and I've set to it the um, exception message as a string. I don't use it or display it or show it anywhere, but um, it shuts up the compiler and it doesn't see that is something it has to warn about anymore. Now I've done that in each of the cases and it's happy bunny and there's no warnings anymore.